Many people know Steve Kerr due to his success in the NBA, but one miserable fact about Steve is that his father was assassinated when he was barely 18 years old. Both Steve and his father Malcolm were born in Beirut. Steve's father was a senior lecturer at the University of Arab History before he was appointed as president of the American University in Lebanon in 1982. It is during his tenure as president of the American University in Lebanon that Malcolm was assassinated. He was shot in the chest by two members of Hezbollah. At the time, Steve was a student at the University of Arizona. With so much pain and sorrow, Steve Kerr turned to basketball to help him through the ordeal. Well, today he is one of the most mentioned names in the NBA. So, let's have a look at his lifestyle. The Golden State Warriors is one of the most dominant teams in the NBA. And when talking about their success, all eyes are on Stephen Curry, Draymond Green, and Klay Thompson. But one name also remains key, Steve Kerr. Kerr has managed to lead the Warriors to six NBA Finals and scooped four of those. Before that, he was also a remarkable player, despite not having great personal statistics. As a player, the three-point sharpshooter earned five championship rings, three with the Chicago Bulls and two with San Antonio. In his first year coaching, Kerr became the winningest rookie head coach in NBA history with the team's 63rd win. Steve Kerr's resume is simply unmatched. Unlike what we are used to, Kerr has found his place in San Francisco, knowing how to manage a group of players that have become a family, without egos, with a collective spirit and an insatiable hunger to continue making history. Steve finds solace in his boys. Actually, his group has few known scandals because Kerr's work has always been based on discretion and respect for his players, a personality forged since he was a child. Steve also made headlines after he emotionally called for gun reforms after the Texas school shooting. And now we have children murdered at school. When are we going to do something? I'm so tired of getting up here and offering condolences to devastated families that are out there. I'm tired of the moments of silence. Enough! The memory of his father's assassination made Kerr explode when a shooting in Uvalde, Texas ended the lives of almost 20 children. As of the production of this video, Steve has a reported net worth of about $45 million. During his NBA playing career, Steve earned a total of $15.8 million. That amount translates to about $24 million today. His highest salary as a player came during his final season, 2002 to 2003, when he earned $2.625 million playing for the San Antonio Spurs. When he became coach of the Warriors, he signed a $25 million contract for five years in 2011, or $5 million per season. He agreed to a contract extension in July 2018, and while the terms were not disclosed, it is believed that the deal was not significantly different in terms of salary. There is no information about Steve's endorsements, but he makes money largely from his salary and advertisements, and all these contribute to his net worth. So, earning millions of dollars entitles one to live beyond dream and luxury. Steve Kerr being no exception, he spends to maintain a lavish lifestyle, starting from his lavish abode decked out with all the facilities one needs and more, to being spotted in charitable endowments, this is how Steve Kerr spends his millions. Buying Mansions Golden State Warriors head coach made a slam dunk with the purchase of a San Francisco townhouse in 2018. Kerr handed off $7.35 million for the residence, which features an appealing sense of scale and outstanding views. The 1920s-built Presido Heights neighborhood house extends to 4,000 square feet, with four bedrooms and three and a half baths throughout. Off-white walls, rich hardwood floors, and a number of original features add plenty of character to the home but the gallery-like sunroom and study with a wood-burning stove might be the winner. The living room gets high marks too, though with an original marble fireplace and arched windows offering views of the Presido and Golden Gate Bridge, bedrooms include a well-appointed master suite. The property exterior is limited, but charming. The small hardwood deck is bordered by lush landscaping. The mansion was so expensive that it made Kerr joking, I bought a house in San Francisco, and I'm going to have to coach another 20 years to afford it. Buying Cars Steve Kerr seems to be interested in collecting sporty cars and docking them in the garage. Unlike the other stars, Steve holds a moderate lifestyle in terms of luxury. 
Nevertheless, the former NBA star has been spotted on several occasions driving an Audi QA, which comes at a hefty $70,000 to $100,000 range. The Audi Q8 is luxurious, extravagant, and stylish, and makes an admirable executive impression for owners who aren't too worried about its rather obvious packaging compromises. It takes up about as much room on the road as a Q7 SUV, but has only five seats. In spite of its more dynamic and contemporary styling, it doesn't offer significantly more involvement or engagement for the driver either. But the Q8 offers good road manners and superb refinement, as well as a plush ride. It features a dynamic mode and fabulous interior ambiance with its twin touchscreen interior and lavish appointments. As such, it is a thoroughly appealing choice for drivers who place style and comfort above sports car-like driving responses. Kerb must have had his reasons for going for this machine. Giving to Charity Steve Kerr has a name in charitable endowments. After his father's assassination, he established a scholarship fund in remembrance of his father for the poor and needy students of the neighborhood. As much as 20 students are now continuing in East Bay College with the help of Steve Kerr's charity. He has also reckoned himself as a member of the movement Black Lives Matter. Kerr established the East Bay College Funds in remembrance of his father, Dr. Malcolm Kerr. Kerr's donations amount to over $600,000 to date. I met the East Bay College Fund people last year on a similar night where they had some guests in town. I was just blown away by what they're doing, just in terms of fundraising, but also mentoring kids in the Bay Area, particularly in the East Bay, sending them to college, providing mentoring, counseling. It's a great program. So it's become kind of my personal charity through the Warriors Foundation, Kerr said via the team's official website. Keeping love and family. A five-time NBA championship winning coach couldn't have achieved the things that he has without having a stable home. So meet Margot Kerr, wife of Steve Kerr. Margot was allegedly Steve Kerr's college sweetheart. She loved him as much as he did. And that's why when the man asked the big question, Margot didn't have any hesitation whatsoever. Karen, her mom, liked Steve and he got her blessing. Margot and Steve married on September 15th, 1990 in a private ceremony in Ohio with close friends and relatives. An interesting piece of information about the Kerr household is that they don't forget the past. The man who brought them together, Frazier, is still associated with them. The man is an assistant player development coach with the Warriors, and he works on Steve's staff. The goofy and quirky, very competitive Margot Kerr seems to have an affinity for the number three. She has three children with her husband Steve. Nick, Madeline, and Matthew are Steve and Margot's children. Their father's passion for sports is shared by two of their children. Nick played basketball for the University of San Diego. After that, he worked as a coaching intern at Cal before joining the coaching staff of the San Antonio Spurs. Maddie played volleyball for the University of California, Berkeley, and little is known about Matthew, though.